Hey guys, Hecons here with another World of Warcraft Classic Gold Making Guide. Now that we can reference regional price sources in TSM for WoW Classic, I thought I would make a video to share a couple of ways that you can set up Sniper. If you want to use something other than the default out of the box settings, Bill of Synixia has been kind enough to update his string. So today we're going to be covering how to set it up, as well as going over how it works, and how to make changes to the string to work better for your realm. The first step is to open up TSM by typing in slash TSM in chat. You want to go over to the settings tab, down to custom sources, and then you want to click the add new custom price source button. This should make a new variable name called custom price A, which you can just rename to min price. Um, I already have a min price, so I'm not going to do that. I'd recommend starting with the top string first for the custom price source. If you're finding that it's finding too many deals and you want it to be more sensitive, then you can use the second string. It's going to be a lot more picky and find fewer deals. However, there's a more likely chance that it's actually going to be worth buying. Uh, so start with the first one first, and then um, if it's finding too many deals, it's too sensitive, then I would try using the second one. I'll include both of these custom price sources in the description below. And then I'll also link to Bill Nixia's paste bin, which should have both of these custom price sources as well. Make sure to do a reload after you uh, change the variable name to min price and uh, add in the custom price source. The next step is to go back into TSM. This time we're going to be making a new operation, so go to the operations tab, down to sniper. And then if you click this plus button, it's going to make a new operation. Um, I just named mine Sniper, and you just want to copy and paste this string, which will be included in the description below as well. Very long string, very confusing string, but we'll go over it in the later part of this video. And you can see that it references that min price variable that we made in step one, so... Um, it's really important that you spell that correctly, and yeah, otherwise the sniper is not going to work correctly. Next part of the step is to go into groups, and we need to assign that sniper string or sniper operation to a group. Uh, so you just want to select one of your groups. I don't have any set up on this account, so I'm just going to use my base group. Uh, click over to group operations. And then under Sniper, if it's set to default, you just hit the X. And then it'll give you the option to choose um, one of your operations. So we're going to want to select the Sniper operation that we just made. Um, and you can see down here, um, it's using that operation, so... Should be good to go. Now we're going to be going over how to tweak your string uh, to make it more reliable for your realm. Now that we've gone over the setup, we're going to go over how the string works and how to customize it. If you take a look at this graph, you can see that there are 6 fixed value and percentage pairs. 1 gold is 10%, 5 gold is 30%, 10 gold is 40%, 50 gold is 60%, 100 gold is 70%, and 250 gold or more is 80%. With this setup, the sniper string will calculate a percentage between 0 and 80, and use this as a percentage of an item's min price value we are willing to pay. For example, an item with a min price value of 500 gold would show up on sniper if it gets posted at or below 80% of its value, or 400 gold in this case. The sniper string will also always show you items that get posted below their vendor sale price and will also exclude all gray quality items unless those are also posted below their vendor sale price. 80% off of min price may not seem like a lot, but the idea is to have valuable items show up even if they're only posted a little bit below their min price so that we can still manually decide whether or not to actually buy the item. This is great for flipping high-end BOEs, where the percentage return may not be as high, but our nominal gold-making potential is much higher. 
Conversely, for lower value items which may not be worth our time to flip, we will only be notified of those when they're posted for extremely cheap. And all items with min price values under 1 gold are ignored. Now that we know what the string is doing, we're ready to adjust it in case you're having problems with it on your own. Adjusting the string with the existing values can be a little bit confusing, so you can refer to this string with placeholders for the values and percentages that you will need to edit. Make sure to use actual gold values like 25g for 25 gold, and percentages should just be the number without a percent symbol. Percentage 0 is the percentage that will be used for items that are valued at less than value 1. In the original string, it uses 0. That way, all items below a min price of 1 gold are ignored. You can assign it a value greater than 0 if you want them not to be ignored. So here's the buyout sniper in action. You guys can see that it's already found 5 deals. Um, some of them are quite a bit lower than the market value and the region market value average. Uh, the lifestone, as an example, is listed for 35 gold right now. You can see the market value is 67 gold, which is almost twice that. And then the region market value average is 95 gold. Uh, must be a pretty decent trinket and classic. I would probably buy that out and try and flip if I had enough gold on this tune, but uh, unfortunately I'd have to switch over to my main to buy it, but uh, I may check later, see if it's still available. And then the other deals were so-so. Um, Shadow Craft Belt, 11 gold, 70 silver. Regions about twice that. Uh, min buyouts at 16 gold, so... You could probably make like 4 to 5 gold trying to flip that, but uh, probably not worthwhile. Heartseeker, uh, min buyout, market value of around 11 gold. It's listed for 8. Um, would probably pass on that, despite the region market value average being at 26. Uh, refined. Another so so deal. You can see the min buyouts at 9 gold, uh, like 20 silver, so wouldn't be making very much off of that one either. And then Radiant Boots, uh, 89 silver buyout, min buyouts 1 gold, so. I um, think that's a vendor sale item. Did we win it? Not sure. Oh yeah, we did win it. Cool. Buy that as well. But yeah. Nah, it's a sniper setup. If you wanted to find much better deals, as I said, you can go ahead and adjust the values. Um, I will also link to Bill Nexia's Pace Bin, uh, which is more in-depth, and if you prefer a written guide, um, that's going to be the way to go, so... Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please make sure to like and comment if you found it helpful. If you'd like to see more WoW retail and classic content, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when my videos go live. As always, big shout out to my supporters on Patreon, Lionel, Notice2K, Nadim, and Solitz. I also want to thank our newest patron, Lizzie Ann, and also Bill Anixia for working on and updating the string earlier. Happy sniping and gold making on WoW Classic. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Late.